Welcome to Edmasters.in. This is part 9 of our CShop.net videos. In this video, we are trying to concentrate how to define regular conditional statements in CShop.net. Of course, it's not a new concept in CShop, uh, which is very regular throughout our implementation. Why? Because in our regular uh, projects, we have to go through conditional statements. For that, we need to depend on uh, if condition sometimes and switch case sometimes. You know that I think the importance of these uh, if conditions as well as uh, switch cases. Let me show you the basic procedure in C sharp how to define if condition as well as how to define a switch case. It's very very regular and similar to our previous languages. It's not a new concept uh, to, think, to think about here uh, in this particular language. I think you are very comfort to work with if as well as switch conditions here. Let me define a variable called int a where we are scanning value of this a. Already we discussed in our previous videos if it is an integer type you should convert this particular value to an integer type using convert dot to int 32 of console dot read line method it is and this is one more here convert dot to into 32 read or read line method and this is about c convert dot to into 32 console dot read or read line method now i am trying to concentrate the biggest uh, number in these three variables called a b and c it's it's very simple use regular if condition if a greater than b and a greater than c if you want to open curly braces otherwise no need to open curly braces print the biggest letter say 0 is big here a is said to be the biggest one you know that else if is there to check more than one condition we use else if a b greater than a and b greater than c console dot right line zero is big in the sense b is big if both conditions are getting failed got failed c will be the biggest one and then there should be console dot reader read line method see this is the way we are writing a simple if condition if which contains a condition followed by statements to verify more than one condition we use else if and see else if followed by condition and then statements and this is else followed by again statements this is the way we try to write uh, if condition in cshop.net and which is almost all similar to your previous languages. Uh, if you have more than one statement, I think you know that you should open curly braces here. Otherwise, uh, for one statement, you no need to open any curly braces. Understand? Now try to execute it. To execute, press F5. enter three values for a b and c see now it shows uh, 40 is the biggest one understand try to execute it once again 10 5 6 then it shows 10 is the biggest one this is the way you just try to work with a simple if condition and try to understand the basic procedure to define if condition in cshop.net I think you are not um, uh, it's not uh, a new one comparing with your previous languages understand and then let me go for switch case I just want to comment all these statements let me go for switch case if it is switch case, I think you know that we need an expression here. Say int day 
let me say that cons converter dot to into 32 console dot read line it is we use regular switch expression day comes here followed by multiple cases okay day one is for example sunday followed by break case two Monday followed by break if all cases are got filed it comes to default say invalid day and then break okay now you try to execute it see the output of this switch if you enter 2 it shows Monday if you enter 1 it shows Sunday if you enter other than 1 2 it shows invalid day ok um, this is the way you try to define again switch case and this switch almost all equal to our previous C language nothing more than that uh, it's my uh, intention that I want to show you the way to define uh, if condition as well as switch uh, expressions in C sharp um, I don't want to explain more about these basic conditional statements why because you are uh, very very uh, regular with these two conditional statements right that's the reason I just want to show you the way to define if condition in C sharp as well as switch case in C sharp understand thank you very much